Speaker for North Vancouver, Seymour. Uh, thank you, Madam Speaker. I'm uh, privileged to be able to speak to the motion, be it resolved that this House recognize the importance of British Columbia's tourism industry, plays in our province economy, and the challenges posed by recent decisions. Tourism is a major industry in our province. The past two years saw record numbers of visitors to our province, many of them right here in Victoria. From January to October 2017, our province saw over 5 million international visitors. That is more than our entire province's population. We saw an even larger number of visitors from the United States. That's over 10 million visitors from outside Canada in our province last year. From 2001 to 2017, our government support for the province's art and culture community exceeded half a billion dollars, $658 million, more than any other government in BC's history. My own riding sees a great deal of tourism. Just this past week, the District of North Van uh, enacted more stringent parking regulations and temporary closures of Quarry Rock in Deep Cove to control overcrowding. In, in a sense, it's the victim of its own success. And a recent report in the North Shore News said, situation between Forest and Fjord on the eastern end of the district, Deep Cove has been taxed by the record-setting tourism of 2017, according to a district staff report. And this prompted Doug Mackay Dunn, who is a councillor in the district of North Van, to say, and I quote, what support will our park rangers have when he's standing there like Horatius at the drawbridge trying to prevent an onslaught of these individuals going up to Quarry Rock, he asked, asking the tale of the Roman officer who defended his republic against invading Etruscan forces. So, Madam Speaker, we do have a booming, booming tourism industry on the North Shore. And then there's Mount Seymour, a family-owned and operated ski hill since 1984. Located, located in Mount Seymour Provincial Park, the ski and snowboard area's proximity to the Pacific Ocean, the eastern aspect, and the high base elevation, elevation, elevation provide an average annual snowfall of over 1,000 centimetres and covers the ski area's 80 hectares of terrain. But there's trouble coming, Madam Speaker. Tourism Vancouver, which includes 1,000 member businesses, has recently written to the Minister of Finance expressing deep concerns over recent tax changes. The tourism industry in Metro Vancouver supports over 70,000 full-time jobs and generates $4.8 billion and hosts more than 10.3 million visitors in 2017. These visitor expenditures generate nearly $2.4 billion in taxes for the province. But with the changes that this government is making to the municipal and regional district tax, our tourism industry is under direct threat. Our cities will be unable to advertise themselves to the world, organizations will be unable to support their visitors and employees. At a time when our tourism industry needs to expand and meet demand, we will see a lessening of support and resources. As Ty Spear, the CEO of Tourism Vancouver said, any allocation of the municipal and district regional tax funds to other initiatives will be destructive to a vital industry in terms of job losses, revenues and overall visitation. That is a discouraging statement to hear about a vital industry in our province at risk because of this new government. Tourism is very important to our provincial economy and this government has squeezed and squeezed and implemented new taxes upon new taxes to get more and more revenue with a particular hit to the tourism industry. Of course, many tourism businesses are already facing a new employer health tax, an increased corporate tax, a carbon tax that is going up every year without its award-winning carbon neutrality. Madam Speaker, this government must think about how they're all extra taxes are piling on in each other and are hurting jobs, hurting businesses and people in this province, including the tourism industry. Thank you.